Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Pippa aka Pippa with the Pixie and it's so good to see you all. I'm so glad to be back on YouTube, it's been a long time coming. I was just having a bit of a break to really figure out what kind of content I wanted to create on here and get some feedback from you guys as well and just yeah, have a little break, have a little think about where I want my channel to go and here we are. So I'm kicking it off with a good old school Q&A today. Just so if you're new that you can hopefully get to know me a bit better. Um, for my OG subscribers and followers, thank you for sending your questions in to me over on Instagram and I can't wait to start answering some of your questions. now. As you guys know, most of them are short hair related. I am having a little bit of a mix up with my hair at the moment. It is a lot longer than you guys are used to, that, than I'm used to, let's be honest. But I'm just fancying a bit of a change. I just wanted to have a bit of extra length there to play with, to mix it up, you know, to do something different with. So it's currently in a non-style because I am due to go to the hairdressers next week. Um, for a little bit of a tidy up and so bear with because I'm just getting to grips with you know styling my hair in a different way it was quiffed pulled back for so long it was about time we had a little bit of a change um, so without further ado because I am rambling already grab your cold coffee because what else do we drink around here um, your frappuccino if you do not know how to make my caramel frapp find me on TikTok because I'll link it below because I make them the best one. Um, without further ado, let's go on with the video. So I've got my little list here, down here. So if I look down at the bell supply, um, and I'm just going to basically answer some of the questions you guys sent in for me and we'll go from there. So the first one is do you ever look back at pictures and wish your hair was long so i'm assuming this is pictures of when i had longer hair um and that is quite an interesting question because i personally prefer myself with shorter hair um longer hair just really didn't do much for me and so it's i never really look back at pictures of myself with longer hair and wish it was it was like that um i would think that if that is the case you're not really happy with your hair as it is so maybe mix it up a little bit think about if you've got short hair now which i'm assuming you have um maybe look at short hair hairstyles that you love and try those out instead because there is so many just because you've got one style of short hair does not mean you can not have another. I mixed it up for years, for 10 years I've had short hair now and I have really through the years gone from one style to another and I've had that style for a little while, sometimes I've changed it, sometimes I've stuck with it um, and it is a process and it is something that takes a bit of time to get used to and a bit of time to understand really what is going to suit you, your lifestyle, your personality. Um, and there's so many styles out there it could be just that you've not found the one for you yet and that's okay so don't think you have to just grow your hair because you're not happy with it at this moment it just means that maybe you need to do a little bit more research and really find something that you're happy with with short hair okay so the next question is how did you know that short hair would suit you and the honest answer is I <laughs> I really didn't. Um, I'm quite an impulsive person in some ways. So when I know I want to do something, I will, if I like get an idea in my head, I will do it, no questions asked. So it was when I was 18, I was at university um, and I, I told this story, I'll link the video below for my short hair journey. Um, even though this, that video was just horrendous. Um, but yeah, I saw this girl with short hair. I thought he looked amazing. It was very much the Frankie Sanford style and I wanted her haircut. So basically I went home at the weekend, um, traveled back to my stylist and had the chop. Now, 
I didn't go as short as I then went, you know, over time I went shorter with it. But my advice to anyone who's going from a long haircut and hasn't had short hair before is to maybe go gradual. So over time, go shorter and shorter. Um, I was very fortunate that the cut did suit me and I was happy with it, but it was it was a real shock straight away. I didn't know if I was happy with it, you know, for the first couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, I didn't know it was going to suit me. So my advice, if you're really not sure if it is, is to do it gradually. So go shorter in a very gradual process. Um, you know, like Bob, shorter then then you can find out what suits you if you want to go shorter if you don't and it's not that drastic so that would be my advice for that question is there a celebrity with long hair that would suit it short i'm not really a celebrity follower like i don't really watch and pay attention to many celebrities if i'm honest so that's quite a hard question for me i think i would have to say um Frankie Bridge I loved her with short hair obviously she's grown it now and it is quite long um so yeah probably Frankie Bridge um and I also think Mrs Hinch would suit short hair because she's got really long she's got beautiful hair uh, but I also think with her face structure and um well she's just stunning isn't she and I just really think it would accentuate her features I just think she's gorgeous so I would definitely say her as well um but yeah, I think most people um, suit short hair. It's just finding the hair cut that's right for them. I think that's the key. Um, and that's something people get a little bit mixed up with when it comes to, you know, cutting it short. So yeah. Okay, so now this next, next question is not short hair related. Um, it is, how are you really feeling? Oh, <laughs> So at the moment I'm really good, life is good, um, I'm enjoying things, I am not looking forward to the change in season I must admit, I'm trying to change my mindset around that a little bit because I'm definitely a summer sunshine, you know hot days, bright blue sky and that kind of girl and um, I do love winter but I don't look forward to the change in season so I'm trying to like not think about that too much. Um, so I do get a little bit of anxiety and things like that. I'm not going to go into it too much in this video. Um, so I do have my good days and I do have my bad days. Uh, I am a very different person to the, <laughs> the version I was say like 12 months ago. I've come a long way from, from that. I'm definitely a lot happier and a lot healthier. Um, so yeah overall I'm very good thank you and I hope you are too it's it's been a very odd few years I think for a lot of people and I just think that a lot of people are coming to terms with different aspects of their lives and the way the world is right now um, can be very negative so I definitely distance myself from things like that because I just don't have the headspace for it so yeah but i'm i'm well thank you and i hope you all are too right the next question let me just turn my page okay so what is the best way to apply foundation um and they've asked you know is a brush better is a i'm just getting a few bits here is a brush better is a sponge better let me just grab my selection so i haven't cleaned these guys so don't come for me coffee but basically the best my personal preference with applying foundation is to use this brush from peaches and cream this is the i don't know if you can see it i'll link it below the pc25 buffing brush so i stipple my foundation in using this brush like so like this just all over or um i do like this brush as well if i'm wearing tinted moisturizer I prefer to apply it with this brush because it's a bit bigger so you can get like a lighter coverage this is because it's smaller and more dense you get um, a heavier coverage so this is my tinted moisturizer 
uh, brush, this is PC08. And then I will go in with a beauty sponge. This is my favourite. It. I really want to try the Coco Cosmetics Marshmallow Blender. So if any of you have, you know, tried it, please let me know down in the comments because I really, really want to try that because I like a big beauty blender. Um, this is one, I can't remember where it's from. I think it's super sponge um but it's got two different textures which i really like um and i don't like one with like a an angle so because then you get like a line unless it's under the eye anyway i don't wet it that's my little hack <laughs> well i say it's a hack most people would probably disagree with me but and I know it's controversial, but a damp beauty blender has never worked for me. It just separates the foundation on my skin. I just, I've never gelled with it. I've never done it when I was doing clients. I never did it on clients. I just prefer a dry beauty blender. And then I'll go in with my setting spray. And if there's any areas that, you know, need a little bit of blending, I will just tap it over, you know, like that. But I don't use a damp one. Each to their own. So, yeah brush and then blend with a beauty blender what is a gadget i could not live without definitely my phone um as much as i would hate to admit it i spend a lot of time on my phone on social media i'm on tiktok instagram and youtube now so i am constantly on my phone yeah my phone and another one is my straighteners my trusty ghds could not live without them i just love them absolutely love them and it's nice at the moment because my hair is a bit longer i have got the flexibility to try different styles and things like that so if you did want to know any more you know hair tutorials what i'm doing with my hair now please let me know in the comments because i can get that filmed for you but only if you guys want to see it okay and the last question that I'm gonna answer today I don't want this video to be too long today uh, as it's my like step back into the YouTube world uh, would you ever write a book and if so what about so I love this question because um, not assuming that like I'm, I'm you know famous or anything like that um, but for me I love reading I've always loved reading um, and I love writing as well so I I don't know if I've got the con concentration to actually sit down and write a whole book <laughs> um, but if I did it would definitely be something like on the law of attraction spirituality or mindset mental health anything like that really really interests me and I would definitely you know, I feel like I've got a lot, a lot to say about those certain subjects. So I think if I was to write a book, it would be on one of those areas. So yeah. And that is going to be the end of today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's been so lovely to sit down and talk to you guys and answer some questions. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer. Um, and if you've got any video suggestions, please do let me know again down below. Um, I really want to make sure that the content I'm creating is what you guys want to see and any ideas are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know that I'm, you know, I'm here and I'm doing the right thing. So I will put all the links to my socials below. Any products I've mentioned as well will be down in the description box and I hope you all have a lovely week. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.